What is going on you guys? Kenny Valdez back at it again with another video. So in today's video, um, we're going to be heading over to Miami. Um, we're finally going to pick up a radiator, su radiator support for the, uh, two the green 240. Um, he might have headlights too. If he does, big score. Um, it's been a mission for me to find a radiator support, so I'm praying that it's in good shape. Um, I think the next closest one was like Orlando, and then the one after that was like somewhere in Atlanta. I was not trying to f drive eight hours to, to go get a radiator support and another eight hours back, so yeah. To, and Miami's not too bad, it's about two and a half hour drive for me, so luckily we, we found one over there. Um, let's just go see the condition of it. I'm crossing my fingers, it's in pretty good condition. He sent me videos, it had some light surface rust. But I uh, hope it doesn't have any rot or anything, you know, excessive. So we're gonna head to the uh, to the dealer right now and go get the Sienna um, because obviously none of our cars fit a whole radiator support. So I'm gonna go pick up the Sienna, um, drive all the way to Miami, and go go check out this radiator support. I feel like you underestimate the mini. Underestimate the mini. I don't know, babe. I don't know if a radiator support will fit in here. All right, we are in the big body. We're, we hopped in the Sienna. Um, let's put this down more. That's cold. There we go. So we're in the Sienna now. We're uh, officially headed towards Miami. It should be a fun two and a half hour drive. So uh, wish us luck. And just gotta love the Florida summers. Oh yeah, look at that. The uh, Top Golf in Fort Myers looks like it's uh, getting put together. Nice to see that. Definitely gonna be hitting that up as soon as that's done. Are so giant. Looks like you put a hole in it. Yeah, I mean I guess. All right, we finally made it. Arrived. Thank you, Siri. Oh, got a nice S14. All right, let's go pick up this part. All right, guys, so we picked up the uh, radiator support. As you can see, it's right over there. Boom. We'll take a better look at it once we get back to North Fort Myers. Um, so definitely a little rusty, but for what I need it for, I think it's gonna work. Um, there's a slight bend in one side, I think on the driver's side, but let's see, I think we should be all right. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Josh, how's it going, bro? Good. I, uh... Like I said, I'm alive. <laughs> I, I Look at my, my friggin' uh, pit stack here, Carolyn. So I broke off the handle for the pool, so I have a zip tie on it. <laughs> oh, really, dude? Yeah, so it's a Volkswagen thing because all the plastics rot. So as soon as you, uh, as soon as you start messing with them, they break in the worst place possible. Oh my god. So I had to put a zip tie on it, you have to like wrap the zip tie around your hand and pull. This okay. Thing. Um, that's one thing I did do good on this car was actually put the thing back in. Oh, that whole thing cracked, dude! Yeah, so it cracked there, and then I have the tip where it's screwed in right here. Yeah. Um, but because of how it's positioned, yeah, when... Yeah, the tip, Jeez. Yeah, or you couldn't close the hood because this literally leans into it. Well, I replaced this pipe right here because when it, it broke and I took the tip off, it made it so that it could flex, it went all the way over and burned through that like the boost hose yeah and then made it so that i don't have any boost pressure so then the car is really slow and then it went into limp mode so i stopped and i was like trying to put it back together it didn't work so i had to stop at the auto parts store fix that and then i realized i was out of gas so i go to the gas station start filling it up and it's just pouring out of the bottom of the, the filler neck Jeez. so i had to like put a few dollars stop put a few dollars and stop so i got like 20 bucks in it right now which will last me like two weeks but yeah, gotta love diesel. So, uh, I wanted to redo the whole thing, but I don't have the, uh, like, pipes and stuff. 
for it because yeah. I wanted to do like a 90 this time and yeah. go straight up. So then when I do the uh, tip in the hood, it'll like close without any issues. I won't yeah, have to bro. bend that. There's some pipes at, uh, at O'Reilly's right here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if you guys don't know, this is Josh. This is his Volkswagen Jetta. <laughs> 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 Fucking buffer falls off. Yeah, well look. Um, so I had to, I have something behind it that I screwed into it because this popped off when it was raining really bad and I was taking a uh, back road and the road is like, I don't know, shaped so the water will run off. It didn't work, there was water all over the road. So yeah. I'm like driving, it ripped the screws out of this side and was just sticking out and then broke off. So I had to stop and go get it. But it's like 80 bucks for the stupid lip, so I just screwed it back together and yeah, fuck it. it. Yeah, looks good for now. Yeah. Hell yeah. I'll end up wrapping it though. This man's. <laughs> Somebody get this man's. All right, so I'll have Josh explain, I guess, what are we going to be doing exactly first. Um, go ahead, Josh. All right, so we're going to start with just pulling off all the little extra pieces that are just bolted on here so we can get a better view of all the different spots that need to actually be drilled out so we can remove the radiator support from the main frame pieces of the vehicle. And then after all that is drilled out, we can start easily prying off the radiator support and then we can straighten out little pieces that may be bent or messed up and then it will be ready to put onto the vehicle. Hell yeah. My man sounds professional now, bro. You heard that? Thank God he's here because um, I suck at this. So uh, yeah, this is going to be kind of scary, but very, very uh, promising at the same time. At least I hope so. But um, yeah, let's get to it, guys. Hell yeah. Oh, summer. It sounds good right now after what we just experienced, doesn't it? Grilling out, lawns being mowed, and pools opening. These are some of the things we expect with summer. <laughs> I did a shitty job of recording, but this is nice and primered. We already got the other ends off and got this primered. I'm gonna apply some black spray can paint on it real quick. That way it's not bare metal. And I took care of the rust spots. Um, so that's good to go. As you can hear, Josh is inside grinding away out of the S13, getting the old radiator support off. Um, basically he's cutting the, the metal section and then we're just gonna take out the ends that way it's much much easier for us but um yeah shout out to josh and pablo for coming through today because they're a big help always nice when you got the homies around but uh yeah this has kind of been my job right now while they're tackling that inside and uh so far so good <laughs> guys so the radiator support is installed i still gotta <laughs> grind the welds down thanks to my guy pablo out there but uh she's tight she's secured that's what that's what i'm talking about she's good now she is good i'm probably gonna call it quits now because it is basically 1 a.m 
So, um, beat. Um, I really just wanted to get this done today, and which I did for the most part. I'm like 98% completed. I just gotta make it pretty. Well, grind down the welds and paint the radiator support. That's really all it really needs. I quickly gave it a light coat of black um, with primer. So, to take care of the rust issue, the surface rust that it had from, you know, the previous owner. But uh, thankfully it was nothing major. There was no major rust anywhere. Like I said, it was just surface rust. Very, very minor. But um, yeah, I don't have to look at a crashed radiator support. So super excited about that, even though my face doesn't show it because I'm extremely tired and for other reasons as well. But yeah, no. Once again, major, major shout out to Josh and Pablo for coming through today. Um, I honestly couldn't have done it without you guys. Uh, Josh knowing exactly where to cut and put back, you know, the radiator support and Pablo for the welds. So appreciate you, homies. There's a jack there, bro. Oh, sorry, bro. <laughs> All right, guys. So I just realized I did not end the video. Um, let's go take a look at the radiator support real quick once more. So she's completed, as you guys saw from the last clip. It's a couple days later. Me being me, I always forget to close out the video. So here it is. Um, so I guess the next video about this will be getting new parts for this car. Uh, I already got the parts here. Just need to install them. So be on the lookout for that video. I apologize if I seem really, really down in this video. Um, fortunately, we had a unfortunate death in the family, on uh, Astrid's family. Um, don't really want to get into it right now, but if you see me like kind of like my energy is not way up there like it usually is, I apologize. It's just uh, some going through some hard times right now. With that being said, guys, I appreciate you guys so much for watching. Like I said, be on the lookout for the next video um, sometime soon about this 240. With that being said, guys, I'm out of here. Peace.